We are proud to preview a new feature available in version 6.0 of Neurosolutions called Greedy Search and Back Elimination. Greedy Search and Back Elimination are two methods for input selection. The Greedy Search algorithm will create one input network for all possible inputs. In other words, if your data set has 10 inputs, it will create 10 single input networks. It will then lock in the input that has produced the lowest cross-validation error and begin creating a series of two input networks which include the locked in input from the first series. This process will continue to lock in the networks with the lowest cross-validation error until it does not improve the cross-validation error any longer. The greedy search and back elimination are available in the neural builder for setting up new breadboards and neural solutions. We will set up a simple multi-layer perceptron and browse to our data files which are based on predicting the median value of owner-occupied homes in the Boston area. First we're going to choose the training input. Before we click the next button we want to go ahead and choose our input optimization and choose greedy search. You'll notice that the other input optimization methods are also included in this menu including genetic algorithm and back elimination. We need to choose our desired output. Our cross-validation sets are actually in separate files so we're going to choose our input for our cross-validation and our desired for our cross-validation. For the remainder of the dialogues, we will use the default options of a single hidden layer using the momentum learning rule and finally pressing the build button. To bring up the optimization log, simply double click on the genetic controller. This will display the process of the search through each input variation. We'll go ahead and start the simulation which should only take a minute or two with the new multi-core and multi-processor support in Neural Solution 6. And while that's running, I'll show you the end result in Excel. Looking at the results in Excel, I've highlighted the rows in red that each generation found to be the best. In the first generation, input 5 had the lowest cross-validation error. It carried over the network with the fifth input active and started combining the remaining 11 inputs with it. At the end of the second generation, it determined that the best two input combination was inputs 4 and 5. It continued to do this process until it finally stopped at the fifth generation, where it reached the lowest error using 5 of the 12 total inputs. We can verify this by switching back to Neural Solutions, opening the file component, choosing Customize, and to see which ones were skipped versus which ones are numeric. Back elimination works very similar to Greedy Search except that it works backwards by creating a network using all the possible inputs and then starts eliminating the inputs one at a time. Using these new input selection methods are a great way to trim unimportant inputs from your network and prove in both the result and computation time required.